To write the name for MnO, we first need to realize we have a metal and a nonmetal. So when we have a metal and a nonmetal, we're going to treat this as an ionic compound. Specifically, we have just two different elements, so it'll be a binary ionic compound, and we'll use these rules here. First, we'll write the name of the metal as it appears on the periodic table. Mn, that's manganese. Next, we'll write the name of the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table, replace the ending with IDE. So we have oxygen, and we're going to replace this with IDE. So at this point, we have manganese oxide. But Mn, manganese, that's a transition metal. It can have a different charge depending on what it's bonded to. Here it's bonded to the oxygen. So if we went to the periodic table, we looked up oxygen. That's right here. That forms two minus ions. So we could say the oxygen ion here, that's going to be two minus. Because of that, so this will all add up to zero, have a net charge of zero, the Mn has to be two plus. And to show that, we write after the manganese, two, Roman numeral, we put it in parentheses. So that makes the name for MnO manganese two oxide. This is Dr. B with the name for MNO, manganese 2 oxide. Thanks for watching.